Don't you just wish you held one of these two devices in your hand? This is Victor with Phone Arena with a comparison of two of the greatest flagship smartphones out there. The LG G3 with its the first smartphone with a Quad HD display and the Sony Xperia Z2, a continuation of on a legacy of Sony Xperia Z devices that look better, has a more refined design and just overall is a very powerful smartphone. Which one of the two however is the better one? The LG G3 comes with this metallic design, but it's not metal, we'll find out more about this later. It has a 13 megapixel OIS plus camera and a Snapdragon 801 quad-core chip. The same chip powers the Sony Xperia Z2, but the glass design feels a bit more premium and the 20 megapixel camera is top-notch. Let's compare the two in more detail right away. Both the LG G3 and the Sony Xperia Z2 are large, but the Sony device feels more premium with a glass body, while the G3 has a metallic but not metal body that's actually made of polycarbonate. While the size difference between the two is not that big, it is there. The G3 is wider and thicker. Despite that though, it is the Z2 that's harder to handle. It's a blocky phone with sharp edges that are not all that ergonomic and comfortable to hold. The 5.5 inch Quad HD display on the LG G3 is technically sharper than the Z2, but it's hard to tell the difference in real life. The LG G3 has a good white balance and vivid colors, but it is not the most accurate display out there. Colors are oversaturated, punchy but a bit unreal. The Xperia Z2 screen is very similar in this regard. Whites are not too cold and colors are rich, but again they are a bit overblown. Outdoors, the Xperia Z2 does a bit better, as it's both brighter and less reflective, easier to read under the bright sunlight. The G3 display is dimmer than most flagships and it's also fairly reflective, both making it a bit of a pain to use outdoors. And in terms of viewing angles, the IPS LCD displays on both are fine, but the G3 is just a little bit better, preserving more fully its color when you view it at an angle. Both the LG G3 and the Sony Xperia Z2 come with the newest version of Android, 4.4.2 KitKat on board, but they feature two very different custom skins. The LG G3 brings a simpler UI than before, with less clutter and modern, flat looks. Sony in turn builds up on the legacy of its earlier skins and delivers a consistently good-looking and snappy user interface. Despite its crusade towards simplicity, the LG G3 custom skin is still much more packed with all sorts of features and apps than the Sony one. On the home screen, LG pounds large nearly screen-wide widgets and a separate panel with information from its health app and some tips, while Sony's widgets are less intrusive. Some of the new additions in the G3 features like the Smart Notice Assistant uh, that are meant to remind you to take your umbrella before you go out on a rainy day, for example, feel more subtly em embedded so they don't get in your face too much. Other neat features like the knockout sequence that you can tap on the lock screen are also improved. LG has also joined the fitness craze with its new health hub that tracks your exercises and daily activity. Sony is also well equipped on the health front with its LifeLog application that does even more. It collects your fitness stats along with your phone usage stats to create a fuller picture of your day, plus it even maps it all. In terms of basic functionality, the phone books are similarly rich on both, but Sony's simpler UI feels zippier in the core apps. For messaging, the G3 has a redesigned keyboard, matching the new flat UI, and you can also adjust it, it in size, which is a neat option. The two have just slightly different flavors of the quad-core Snapdragon 801 on board. The G3 is a bit more powerful, but the sharper screen drags its performance below the Z2. Interestingly, the G3 comes in two versions, a 16GB one with 2 gigs of RAM and a 32GB one with 3GB of RAM, while the Z2 features 3GB of RAM even in the basic 16GB model. Both support expandable storage via microSD cards of up to 128GB. Pages load and render quickly on both devices and scrolling around and zooming in and out is practically free of lag. In terms of connectivity, both the G3 and Z2 come with 4G LTE support with download speeds of up to 150 megabits per second. Other connectivity options include dual-channel Wi-Fi, GPS and NFC on both. The LG G3, however, has an infrared blaster that you can use as a TV remote control, something that the Xperia Z2 does not have. These are two great cameras. The 13 megapixel shooter of the LG G3 snaps very detailed and sharp images that are just a bit too warm, while the Sony Xperia Z2 has more consistently great colors, but is not that detailed. The camera interface on the G3 is very plain with almost no manual settings, it really is an all-auto camera. 
The Xperia Z2 camera is simple in a similar way in the superior auto mode but also has a manual mode where you can take manual control of fine settings, uh, an option that photo buffs would appreciate. The actual quality of captured photographs on both is among the best you can get out of a smartphone. The G3 photos often have warmer than with light colors, resulting in a slightly noticeable yellowish tint. The Z2 photos on the other hand have consistently impressive, vivid colors and great contrast. The LG G3 is the better camera in terms of details though. Its 13 megapixel photos are among the best in this respect. One of the hallmark features of the G3 is its new laser assisted autofocus that is of help in low light as it works in concert with traditional contrast based focus to speed up the process. In terms of video, both the G3 and Z2 can record it up to 4K at 30 frames per second along with the more traditional 1080p. 4K videos have an advantage in sharpness and come in handy for those who do post-processing. And the quality of the actual footage? It's smooth and sharp on both devices, but the Xperia Z2 has better fairly accurate color reproduction and the much much faster continuous autofocus. For multimedia, Quad HD is great on paper, but until we get more content in this new resolution, you won't see much benefit from the display of the G3. For music though, the speaker of the G3 is much louder than the clean, but quiet dual speakers of the Z2. Call quality is above the average for both handsets. The LG G3 sounds sufficiently loud, but a bit hollow in the earpiece. The Xperia Z2 on the other hand also sounds perfectly audible, but it does have a slight unnatural metallic rumble to voices in the earpiece, while output from the mics is slightly better. Both the Xperia Z2 and G3 come with large long-lasting batteries. The Z2 sports a 3200mAh battery, while the G3 has a 3000mAh one. It's maybe no surprise then that both scored at the top of our battery test, ranking among the longest-lasting phones out there. If you don't stress the LG G3 with heavy tasks like the most intense of games, it can easily last a full day and maybe even a half, and the Xperia Z2 is practically on par. Another great achievement for the LG G3 is that its battery is easily user removable, while the Xperia Z2 is sealed. So, in conclusion, which one is the better handset, the LG G3 or the Sony Xperia Z2? The fact of the matter is that both devices are very very good, very capable. The LG G3 has this nice curved design, which is not metal, but it feels very good. It doesn't catch any fingerprints, it's a nice design. The 13 megapixel camera is a great performer and the display is very very sharp. The Sony Xperia Z2 on the other hand has a sharp enough display. It has a better performance because it's not Quad HD, it's 1080p, so in benchmarks and games you see slightly better performance and its 20 megapixel camera is top notch. So basically we have a parity between those two devices. Base your choice on your design preference, on your style preference, and for a more detailed look go to phonearena.com. Thanks for watching.